This is a complex medical vertebra part made on the 408MT from Willem and Macadel behind me. If you want to find out how Premier Machine Tools have got your back with parts like these, you need to keep watching. We're here at the Willem and Macadel factory in Delamont, Switzerland with Pascal. Um, Hi. What machine are we in front of and what configuration is it? So this is a machine for rate MT. MT, this is mean in turning that we can work from a bar stock uh, on a capacity of 36 millimeter maximum on a bar. So you're bar feeding, it looks like a milling machine, but you're bar feeding it. Why do you need to bar feed a milling machine? So the bar feed is very used, very common to have the same hardware on the machine. That means you work with the same bar in order to make a lot of different applications, a lot of different parts with the same hardware. Only software will be changed. Because one of the problems with milling is you have to change work holding, change vices, you've got loads of different kinds of vices. With this, it's the exact same bar stock and the exact same work holding. Yeah, so only the specific part has to be changed, so the program, but also the tool holder. Tool holder, tool holder are stocked in the tool magazine. And after, only the jaws for the back working units could be changed specifically for the parts. Okay, so what's the back working unit? Could you point it out and tell me what it does, please? So, you have the A axis. This is uh, the axis where the bar will arrive. And you will have the back working vise to recover the finished part after separation from the bar to finish the phase six and to, to get the finished part on the spiveling chute. Okay, so being a mill turn, you can turn on the A-axis. We can turn on the A-axis, we can mill on the A-axis with five simultaneous machining. And what kind of RPM do you get on the A-axis when you're turning? This machine can go until uh, 8,000 RPM by turning. And the milling spindle, so the milling spindle has a maximum speed to 42,000 RPM. That's amazing. So this is really is a multitasking machine. You can get those 8,000 RPM, but you can also mill 40,000 RPM, so you can be doing engraving, ball nose scanning, full five axis and full turning capability. Yeah, exactly. So the turning operation can help you to reduce a lot of time, the cycle time, uh, because by the turning operation, you can win a lot of time. Exactly. And also, the back working uh, vice comes over, you grab the part, and then you actually you mill it off before you take it away, which is normally you'd see a spindle with a sub, sub turret come in and you'd part it, off, part it off, but you can actually mill it off and then stick it right in the parts catcher. So here we grab the part, we separate the part from the bar, we finish the, the last phase, and the part is finished. So you, you start from a bar and you finish with the finished part on the recovery basket. I see you've got a bar here and a part that you'd, be, you, you'd, you'd manufacture on this machine. Can you just explain why, the, why this part is good for this machine and, and how, you, uh, how you do the, the finishing operation, the OP20? So this part, the dimension of the bar will be inscribed in the diameter 36 millimeter. In there. That means so we can make all the first machining in the A-axis by meeting a little bit by turning. And before to grab the part with the vise, uh, yeah, Comes exactly here. Like and after we will separate the, the part from the bar and finish the last the last phase. It's and fascinating the, that you can do that because normally on a milling machine you'd have to mill uh, this side, flip it around like this, mill this side, uh, yeah. and leave a little tab. And yeah. then you'd get the tab and you pull it off, and then you go and stick it somewhere else and you'd finish it off. But yeah. with this machine, you can come in and grab it. You don't have to worry about tabs, you can just mill the whole thing off yeah. and you've got a finished part. Or it's the same it's the same function that before that to grab, we can prepare the milling. And after the, the rest of the one, two millimeters, we will, before the separation, uh, we will use the vise to grab the parts and we can finish and deburr all the rest of the surface. Easy as that. And I guess you could also, if these parts are slightly different uh, dimensions, but they still fit in 36 millimeters, you could make one of these, another of a different kind, another of a different kind. You could make out of a three meter bar length, maybe, I don't know, 200 different parts. Exactly. Exactly. Only the vise has to be compatible for the different parts. So as long as it is a kind of form that looks a bit like that, exactly. you can come in and grab it and stick it right in the parts exactly. catcher. Exactly. We have a com we need a common surface to grab the part with the vise, and after the machine will be autonomous, uh, can work alone during a night, during a weekend, as you want. But it doesn't need to be making the exact same part every time. It's possible. It's possible to make the same time, same parts, or to have a pro, uh, production management software who will uh, manage all the production you need. So okay. you will produce the parts you need. So we've seen a fantastic application for this machine, but let's talk hard specs. How many tools can you fit in? Because that's a big problem with automation. 
On the 408 MT, we have a capacity of 72 position for the tools. Okay. Turning tools, milling tools, and also probing. What about coolant pressure, swarf management? How do you get the chips out, out of the way? So, for the, for the coolant, we use oil or emulsion possibility to have the high pressure to the spindle. That means uh, we can have 80 bar programmable in the machine. Uh, for the chips, we have a swarf conveyor to remove all the chips outside of the machine. So you can leave that running as long as you want, pumping out these parts. Exactly. If the machine has to, to run alone during a night, during a weekend, you have to remove all the chips outside the machine also to recover all the parts outside of the machine. OK. Surely with this machine having so many axes, though, um, do you compromise on the stability and the, uh, the ability of the machine to cut harder materials? This is peak? Material this right is now? big. Yep. Yeah. But what about titaniums, heat resistant super alloys? Can you cut those on this machine? Yeah, exactly. So the stability of the machine is exactly the same. Uh, the tool wearing is managed through the tool measurement system. So, for example, here we have a laser application. Uh, and after the stabil thermal stability of the machine is managed through the DTS, dynamic thermal stabilization. That means uh, during uh, the production or when the machine will stop to, uh, to keep the condition for the production the precision. Okay, so you don't compromise on part quality at all? Exactly. Okay. So for no compromise on part quality, built-in automation and a tiny machine footprint, check out Willemin Macadel from Premier Machine Tools in the UK and Ireland.